Hello, good people. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. I am here with my best friend in the world, Sasha Sterling. And my name is Shane Sterling, and we just got divorced. And we came out here to this spot here in nature to do our releasing ceremony, where we read our vows to each other that we've had with us all these years for 14 years. We read our vows and we burned them and we released them into the creek that's flowing here behind us. So we thought in this incredibly meaningful and powerful and vulnerable moment, we would come on here and share some of our experience as an empowered couple who's conscious uncoupling and why we're doing that, what the reason is behind that. I'm sure any people are curious and I think maybe even more importantly that it could possibly serve someone who's in a similar situation in the future at some point. That would be our highest goal or aspiration for this is that we would be able to help someone by telling our story. So this is just the moments after we've released each other from our vows. And uh, I got more emotional than I thought. I got less emotional than I thought. <laughs> I'm emotional, but I thought it was, I thought it would be a little bit, I thought I was going to weep the whole time. It's just so sacred. I weeped a little bit. Yeah. So I'm still in that. My eyes are actually a little bit teary still. Yeah, mine too. We turned this on because we've been, we both have been asked by our communities a lot about knowing more about our process and the backstory as growth oriented people who both are up to big things. Um, we're just so committed to the highest version of ourselves and our family and the world. And so we just wanted to turn this on in this super vulnerable moment and be honest and, and share a little bit. We wanted to tell a little bit about our backstory. We got married 13 years ago, but we've known each other 14 years and uh, we had kids right away. But we worked for years doing um, attachment work with a very talented therapist. We wanted to tell this, so all this work um, creating an attachment bond with each other um, has led us to where we feel comfortable now, maybe like we've graduated to the point where we can release each other. We're friends, we have an attachment bond, we trust each other. We'll be friends for the rest of our lives. We'll be family for the rest of our lives. We're family, yeah. yeah this girl right here is my family yeah. forever. And so getting divorced isn't a breaking up of the family, it's an expansion of the family. Really, so how do we, how do you put that? Well, when we met, we met and we were instantly best friends. And we brought a lot of trauma to the table. I know I hadn't done, I had done a little bit of my personal development, but really we quickly squared off. And like you said, we had kids right away. And so very quickly there was, we were trying to find, we were trying to get our needs met and validated with each other. And we weren't doing a very good job. We loved each other always. We've always loved each other and been such good friends. But we were at a breaking point. Gosh, when was this? 2015? 2015. Yeah, early 2015. And we were at a crossroads then. And if we had broken up our family or in our marriage at that point, we would have been the classic divorce case. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful that we didn't go down that road. And instead you enrolled me in six months. You said, give me six more months. Or you said, give me a year. And I said, I'll give you six months. And you found the most incredible therapeutic process. I really recommend it. If anyone's at a crossroads in your relationship, looking up drsuejohnson.com. It is an incredible therapy process and we, you found the therapist and it's all about, it's all about validating and meeting each other's needs. It's about externalizing the pain, externalizing the trauma and really dropping the masks that keep us from the deep love and connection that we all crave. And we did almost four years of that work. We became masters at the, at the process of validating each other's needs, at meeting each other's needs when we could. But really we became it's family about, in the process. It's not about meeting each other's needs because we can never meet all of our needs. Mm -hmm. It's that we validate each other's needs. I see that you have that need. I can't meet that need, but I see that you have that and it's so important to and you. And beautiful. And beautiful that yeah. you have that need. And so we've been able to validate each other's needs and be honest that we can't meet each other's needs in all ways, mm -hmm. which has led us to realizing that div getting divorced legally and spiritually is an okay process because we can still validate each other's needs. We can still support each other, love each other, expand and grow and be family. But 
have our needs met from other reflections, other people, other relationships, other, you know, there's really an expansion. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Sue Johnson's work, um, her, her seminal book, Hold Me Tight, is really one of the foundational understandings of the conscious uncoupling work. You want us to mention just the conscious yeah, uncoupling? so we just finished the conscious uncoupling process. It's been many, many months in the making with another incredible therapist. And at the very end of the book, which accompanies the process, the last two pages, Dr. C. Johnson's work was referenced. And so it's this evolution. Conscious uncoupling is very, very new and it still hasn't reached the tipping point, but it, it honors, it honors, whereas classic divorce tears down or minimizes. So it's an extension of loving so much, someone so much, loving ourselves and someone else so much that we, the goal is wholeness. The goal isn't attachment. The goal is wholeness. What does it look like to have every member of the family whole, alive, awake, self-actualized, their needs validated and whenever possible met. So conscious uncoupling is this extension of that EFT work that, and I was just so blown away. It was like the last page and I called you right away. <laughs> yeah. I did want to mention too, for, I know this is on Shane's channel, Shane having the call to go raw vegan came at the very end of almost four years of that therapeutic process where we kept getting in there around, what do you really want? When fear is dropped, when you're worthy, when you feel worthy authentically of having your needs met and you, it very clearly came forward at the very end of that process yeah. and you got the call yeah. and you did a water fast and then a 40 day juice fast. Mm -hmm. And so we took all of this practice, healing work, healing from our past anxious attachment and traumatized attachment from our family of origin, which it's, you know, our families are amazing. Just coming into this human experience, there's work to do. And we got to practice it and master it. And then we went back into our lives. Shane got the call to go raw vegan. And then my father committed suicide. Mm. And we had, what is it? The last three and a half years, we have been living the work separate from a therapist. And we've been so loyal and so committed. And only from wholeness and love and respect have we come to this place where we're at a new crossroads. And it just feels right. It feels right and it feels loving. Mm -hmm doesn't feel like any loss or tearing down or yeah. separation. It doesn't even feel like we have a lot of, there's no animosity. Mm -hmm. It's just about setting each other free to like soar, like putting wind in each other's sails, like <gasps> fly my love, fly. And you can always come home. And you can always come home because- I'm here, yeah. Yeah, because we're deep connected friends mm -hmm. on like a, you know, deep root chakra way. Like we've healed a lot of our family lineage trauma through work with each other so it's very powerful it's the most sacred profound work i've ever done in my life yeah i wanted to mention that the, so much gifts i have learned so much from sasha sasha has taught me so much who i was when we met wasn't even a fraction of who i am today i wouldn't be able to be raw vegan rising i wouldn't be able to you know be a raw vegan if it wasn't for sasha because of just how i've learned to like love and accept myself and face my fears. Sasha has really taught me how to love fully. I think that's one thing she's taught me. Um, I've been, I was a lot more closed off when we first met 14 years ago and I've really expanded my capacity for love and to love and to be generous and to be selfless and to be other focused and to be service oriented. It's the whole reason I started my YouTube channel is because of what I've learned being Sasha's friend. Oh, I'm so in awe of you, baby. You've just grown into the, I mean, such a, the most beautiful part of yourself. And you'll continue to. And what was it that you learned from me? I've oh, learned from... you have been a spiritual teacher for sure. A big one. The big one. The big one. Um, you've taught me so much. Shane has taught me personal power. Shane has taught me, I, I tend to enter transformation and changing the world through the micro. You've taught me to not be afraid of the macro conversations, to really look up and out and to not be intimidated by transformation on a large scale. Mm -hmm. I think the big one though, like right from the beginning, I had more codependent tendencies and I like had the urge to like merge and just identify with our family and identify with you and you kept reflecting back that I'm a powerful leader myself. I mean, you were the first to encourage me to launch my coaching business 11 years ago. You've been my biggest supporter in a very strong way that's like encouraged me to really own my power and, my, and trust myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So we're each other's spiritual teachers. We've had a lot of karmic work to do together. We came together on a massive karmic, like whoosh, teachers um, squared off, like uh, a lot of conflict, a lot of passion, a lot of tension, a lot of, you know, <laughs> yes. fighting over the years. Oh my gosh, we are so, we like our love has been so private. We've never had the same social life. We've never had the same interests. It's been like behind the scenes work and love and dedication we've been doing the work mm -hmm. and yeah so there's been a lot of points where we just have we came together with obvious like it was right it was the right thing yeah but including children yeah including children well of um, course our greatest which, which manifested instantly blessing. instantly so we so, can't so there's no denying when you have a karmic relationship <laughs> and a spiritual teacher show up in your life there's no denying it no matter how painful no matter how deep it gets no matter how much shadow you got to face they show up when they show up. We've done the work valiantly. So we met out dancing <laughs> when I was 22. Shane was 34. I just finished a shift of waitressing and my friend said, come out dancing with me. I was like, no, I don't, I'm not going out to a bar. He's like, you have to come. So I get there and Shane walks in and he at that time was very eccentric, very self-expressed. You always are. I, I saw him in like rainbow, like a rainbow robe or something. It was, and he was glowing light. Like literally, I thought he was a figment of my imagination. And he disappeared in the crowd. Oh, look, there's people walking there's by. There's people, we're out in nature. We got married in nature. Right. We're back completing in nature. Um, yeah. And so when I realized that he wasn't a figment of my imagination, I went right up to you and said, hi. And it was like, just meeting someone you've always known. We've hardly spent a day apart since. And we had got pregnant with ISIS, what, eight weeks later? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three months later, something like that. Yeah, within a couple months, we had our first daughter. Well, we conceived yeah. our first daughter. Yeah. So here we are at the end of our karmic relationship is what it is. We're both powerful spiritual people. And so it's not about making each other wrong. It's about feeling the ending of a karmic cycle, a karmic relationship where we've learned what we needed from each other. No, there's no problem. There's no, no one is wrong here. Now it's just time to venture on to the next journey. Um, you know, continue to support our family, set our children and our lives up to win as best friends, but expand it. That's where the divorce comes in. It's quite dynamic, but I think we're doing something that isn't very common. This is cutting edge 5D consciousness relationship work that we're doing. And so a lot of people might not understand it. It doesn't fit into a lot of the boxes that are available for our consciousness to understand what's happening. So uh, we're just sharing what it is and it might not be something that's easy to understand, but it's absolutely amazing. Oh, a big turkey vulture wow. just sat right above us. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was, always our, it was always very clear that we came together to heal our family lineage, to create our own legacy through family and through our work. And so that's why we cho consciously chose a new last name. We did so much ritual around letting go. Like we've really signed up for it right from the beginning. We're yeah. so committed to our daughters of like freedom, really freedom, yeah. and just to be not be burdened by the by the past and by our own pain and trauma. So I, I'm really proud of us. Yeah, I'm proud of us too. To have parents who are oh, to have parents who are both happy, awake, and on purpose on their spiritual path. Yeah. That's what setting our kids up to win really is, yeah. is about us being on purpose, us being on path, us being powerful people in our personal leadership, loving each other, not making each other wrong, not fighting because we just support and we uplift and there's no one who's wrong. Doing that for our children, that breaks the lineage bonds. That sets up the new paradigm for our family lineage and setting the precedent for all relationship consciousness here forward. So we're so honored to be at this moment. We thought we'd let you into our little experience here. As our we, sacred moment. <laughs> our sacred moment of conscious uncoupling, releasing each other from our vows after 13 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, much love and blessings to everyone who watched this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me on my channel, Raw Vegan Rising. Subscribe you know, subscribe to the Raw Vegan Rising channel. And in the description, there's two links. One is my detox protocol, how to do a juice fast, why you need to do one, a detailed guide on bowel detoxification, because, you know, hey, detox takes our consciousness to the next level. So important. 
and also my membership, Raw Vegan Heroes, which is a support community and movement for powerful, spiritual-oriented people changing their diets to experience tr massive transformation. That's the vehicle of transformation, is raw veganism, raw food. And if you're on a path of you know, detox or raw food awakening, Join Raw Vegan Heroes. Check out the link below and see how amazing it is. It's it's an amazing community. 268 people as of today, growing really fast. It's a movement. Sasha has been instrumental in supporting me and starting my membership, Raw Vegan Heroes, and is continuing to help me grow it. And we're gonna take this movement of Raw Vegan Heroes to the next level. We're actually planning on bringing it up to thousands of members. It's our goal, it's our life 10, work. 10,000. Yeah. It's a big number. But thank you all so much. Much love and blessings. And I will see you in the next one.